So here's the app you want to download from the App Store. It's the ISS Spotter, not the ISIS Spotter. It's not a counterterrorism app. The app has a couple simple screens. It's easy to play with it and figure out what it does. But simply um, take a look at the first screen I'm showing you here is the map showing your current position with a blue dot and it's showing the flight path of the space station in real time. You can see exactly where it is relative to your location. The next screen shows the date and time of passings that will be visible in your area. The interesting thing here is that not all viewings are created equal. Sometimes it'll pass overhead and be visible for several minutes. Other times it's just uh, a very short viewing kind of appears uh, near one horizon and, and quickly skirts the horizon in view and then disappears again. So the uh, app attempts to rank the potential quality of the viewing with a number of stars. Tonight for me was a three star viewing. It was, it was really perfect. It was uh, straight overhead. So if I was at a beach, um, I would have seen it come up and uh, go overhead and go down and be visible for several minutes. When you click on a uh, uh, sighting in the, in the list, it brings up, I think, probably the coolest component of this app, um, an active real-time compass. Um, basically, you can see where it's going to start and end in the sky as you turn your body, holding your phone flat out in front of you, pointing it away from you. As you turn your body, the, the arrows turn, so you can literally turn until you get the green arrow pointed in front of you, and you know you're looking at the exact point in the sky where the station is going to start coming into view and you can see where it's going to end in the view. Are you ready? Yes. All right, keep looking. Okay. Could be a little bit that way. But the app says it's straight overhead. See anything yet? No. Should be really bright. I know, and you're fast. Pretty fast, yeah. Well, it could be visible over there, but it's behind the house. So it might take a, a little bit longer for it to appear overhead. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Where? Right over there. Real bright. Yeah. You see it yet? No. Right over there. Over the edge of the house. Can't see it. How can you not see that yet? It's too small. You seriously can't see that yet? No, I'm too small. Oh, there it is. So yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like it's right like there. I'm not sure who's on it, but we can look it up on the computer and see who's on the space station right now. Hard to tell how fast it's moving when there's nothing in the camera view for perspective, but you can start to see the trees. It doesn't even look like it's in space. It just looks like it's a drill that has a flashlight on it. I know it's as bright as anything, isn't it? Real cool. It looks like it's in space. It's gonna be disappearing behind the trees in a second. I have the app on my phone set to ring an alarm when it's gonna be visible five minutes before visible. So I was sitting down at the table and it went off. And here we go. That is so cool. Going bye bye behind the trees.
Oh, it differs. It, it, no, not more than once, I don't think. But it very rare, very rarely goes. They're peeking between the trees. It very rarely goes straight overhead. Sometimes it's way off to one side or the other. So Does it go it's all around the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's only visible at certain times, certain times of the year from certain locations and stuff. Well, it's gone now. Oh, bandit, no. You'd see it perfect still if we were out in a clear place right now, but bandit. the trees, the trees in the house just gave us a small window of opportunity. Afterwards, we made a quick visit to the NASA website we can see the names of the people on the space station right now. Uh, see recent tweets from astronauts, other news information, and that sort of thing. But um, if you're a science geek or you're into just cool stuff, I think it's just fascinating to look up in the sky and see something zooming across the Earth and, and then going on the Internet and seeing the people up, that are up there in that thing looking back down at you. So um, I know the kids love it. I enjoy it. I've been looking at this for a few years and just thought I would share it. I think one night, um, having me looking up in the sky, and just by chance, seeing uh, the space station, just this bright, bright light moving very quickly across the sky. There's no way it was a plane. There was no way it was a star. I could not figure out what it, what the hell it was. And I did a little research and found out that I had accidentally stumbled upon seeing the space station. So since then, I found this app and, um, you know, makes it easy to, to see it multiple times per year. So enjoy.